the MCA is also now batting for, let's say, a deal value threshold for transactions in the digital market. Uh, Nisha, the CCI gave the, ex uh, the sale RC gave the example of Facebook, WhatsApp, your Flipkart, Mintra, your uh, Snapdeal and free charge kind of transactions to say that just because these transactions didn't meet the uh, turnover or asset thresholds, the CCI's approval wasn't required uh, and that needs to change. Uh, do you, um, either of you disagree with this proposal? I think it's a very fair proposal because this is something that other jurisdictions also do. Germany and Austria both have these thresholds. The US also has a transaction size threshold. In addition to that, the US has the ability to look at all non-notifiable mergers. So the change which is proposed is actually quite sensible in that it doesn't look at all non-notifiable mergers, but has there will be the ability to look at special deal value thresholds. And again, what the CLRC recommended is that these be quantifiable and more importantly, that they have a local nexus to India. Hmm. Okay. Right. So um, I think uh, following on the heels of Germany and Austria, but uh, if I am to understand correctly, I, I'm not sure if either Germany or Austria have seen the kind of transactions they, they imagined hmm. they would uh, have the opportunity to, to scrutinize. Okay. So I think it, it may be worth uh, talking about that. I think the regulations are going to have to clarify things like staggered consideration. Hmm. Now, you know, you know in, in, in the quality of transactions that you're looking at out here, you probably keep the promoter in for some time, hmm. yeah, the founder promoter. Hmm. And then uh, that exit would be phased out. And, and things like that. So staggered consideration, at, at what point in time do you count that? How do you count it? Um, I think similarly for cross-border transactions, do you look at the global number? Do you look at the, the, the number attributable to India? Sometimes there is no number attributable to India in, in global deals. So I think uh, it's quite a task. Um, I wonder if it's worth the effort. Mm. Uh, but yes, uh, there is a general agreement in international authorities, uh, competition authorities worldwide that they'd like to examine transactions in the digital space. But I'm not sure this is the best way to achieve it. Okay, all right. Even the CLRC mentioned a bunch of things that uh, the CCI will have to deliberate over. If I think just to clarify here. Sure. Paiswani, just to clarify here that while all of us keep picking up on digital economy as an example because that's what the CLRC has stated, currently the proposal is such that these deal value thresholds can be introduced for any transaction. It is not necessarily re uh, restricted to digital economy transactions. Yeah, but I think the thought is emanating from there, uh, if I'm not mistaken. It's interesting to watch how it this is. will finally evolve. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah.